Cassie Hume is starting their Slovember sale today. And if you're not familiar, Slovember is their sale they do all of November where they give you 23% off every single product on their website except for on Black Friday. So essentially it is their kind of response to Black Friday. They wanna give people plenty of time to educate themselves, to really make good decisions, to just take time and not feel rushed into buying skincare from Desium. I was fortunate enough to hear about the sale from my contact at Desium. This is not sponsored. And I gathered up my favorites from Neod, from The Ordinary, and also from Hylamide so that I might give you my recommendations, tell you who I think would benefit from what, and also, as always, I will put the ingredient decks color-coded next to me so that you can, in a flash, visually see well, that would be visually, right? Visually see. So in a flash, you can just see how that in ingredient deck looks. I think that this is gonna be one of those really great resources for this sale. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I'm a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon, and I'm super excited that you're here. I hope that you'll subscribe before you leave, and I also hope you'll follow me over on Instagram. I'm actually gonna be posting all month long little mini reviews of various Neod, Hylamide, and The Ordinary products in my stories along with these ingredient decks and just super snippet mini reviews. So if you follow me over on Instagram, you will be able to see all of that. It's Penn Smith skincare everywhere. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with my number one pick of the entire sale, and that is their Copper Amino Isolate Serum. Now, I just did my PM routine recently, you guys, and I was out of copper peptides. I had so many people ask me if I'm still using them, and absolutely, I am still using copper peptides. I just was out, and I picked some back up, and Neod's been my favorite forever. You can see, you can see how watery that is. Okay, they have changed their copper peptides over the years. So they have one that is in a tube that is lipid. It's super, super hydrating, moisturizing. It's moisturizing. And that one wasn't for me. I didn't care for that one. I know lots and lots of people love that one. It wasn't for me, but I picked up their original form of this one and fell in love. I loved what it did for my skin. And I really just felt like it was effective as far as being a copper peptide. Now they have changed it. And what is different now is you used to have to combine two products together and then you would have your or, you know your little bottle now it just comes all in one and you get one bottle and it's ready you don't have to prepare it yourself and mix it up which I actually like I like that it's just one bottle and it's not two and you're not doing any of that mixing stuff okay so who would use copper peptides if you are concerned about your aging skin and I say that because when I was 29 years old, let's say, even 30, even 31, I really wasn't yet concerned about my aging skin. I had concerns about my skin, but I didn't know what I didn't know yet. And, and I'm sorry, but I just couldn't even put myself in the place that I am now because my skin was practically, you know, perfect when it comes to aging, right? I had, I had occasional pimples or I had this or that, but aging? totally fine. So I don't necessarily think that this would be my first choice for somebody who's maybe 30 years old. I just, I just don't think so. But if you are at that point where you're starting to be concerned with sagging, if you're starting to be concerned with the bounce of your skin, if you're starting to notice crepiness, any of those things are typically collagen and elastin related and copper peptides can help with that. I think that one of the coolest things that copper peptides can do is they can help with the preservation of our elastin. So our collagen, we lose collagen as we get older, we, we start to produce less and less, but our elastin is so incredibly important. It's important for the bounce of our skin. And I just looked like I attacked myself. It's really important to the balance of our skin and the existing elastin that we have in our skin, it degrades as we get older. So not only do we have less, but the stuff that we keep is not in as good of condition. Copper peptides can help with that. And I think that that's part of what we wanna do as we get older. We know that things are gonna change as we are so lucky to get older. We just want to keep them as healthy and good as we can for as long as we can. And that's how I feel about copper peptides and collagen and elastin, etc. So that is the Copper Amino Isolate Serum 311. This would be my absolutely number one recommendation for aging skin, if you're over 35, let's say, for this sale, for sure. 
Okay, next up, I've got like 10 or 12 things, so I'm gonna move along, you guys. Next up is not gonna be a surprise to anyone, but it is the Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. I've been talking about this one for years also. It is a favorite, probably my most favorite mist that I own. It's right up there with my Prima Skin and my Manufactory Bifida, but this one is, it's just been a favorite for so long. Superoxide Dismutase is a profound antioxidant. Saccharide is a is hydrating, okay? So you are getting a supercharged antioxidant spray that also hydrates your skin. And it does it in such a lightweight fashion that it it's a it's like it disappears, but after it dries down on your skin, your skin is just nicely slightly hydrated, prepped and ready for the rest of your skincare. It's a beautiful product, you get a lot of it, and so I like to spray my face, my neck, my décolleté, I'll spray my shoulders and my arms. I love this stuff. I'm not sure how many bottles I've gone through, but a few of them. However, that said, one single bottle lasts a really long time. So if you're somebody who's into mists, if you like hydrating mists, but you also like to get some antioxidants in your mist, this is a great choice and number one pick for me also. Next up is going to be the multi-molecular hyaluronic complex. You guys, this is kind of a star in the Decium lineup if you ask me. Now it has 28 forms of, well, it's not really 28 forms of hyaluronic acid. It's 28 forms of either hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronate, precursors to hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to bind water to it and hydrate your skin, like a drink of water for your skin. So this one has a plethora of them to really, really hydrate your skin. Now this one has more things than just hyaluronic acids in there. It also has sodium PCA, which is also an amazing humectant, drink of water for your skin. And then it has some really nourishing ingredients that help to feed your skin also, help to do good things for it, not just hydrate it. So this one is kind of like a hyaluronic acid on steroids. Now the other thing about it is that the, the actual consistency of it is really, really nice. It is very thin and it soaks right in. It's like um, a mid-level serum. So it's not super watery, but it is definitely not thick and sticky. It soaks into your skin and just leaves you hydrated. This is one of those that I think if you ask like 10 people, nine people would tell you they gave it five stars. It's a really beautiful hydrating serum. So that is the multi-molecular hyaluronic complex. Now somebody's gonna ask me about microneedling with this one and the answer is yes and no. You should not medically needle with this one because it just has too many things in there that could cause you problems. Now, this would be okay with cosmetic needling and also with cosmetic derma rolling. I think it would be beautiful with both of those and would be really great to kind of help with the disruption of the barrier and the inevitable transepidermal water loss that we get when we do cosmetic needling, any kind of needling, and this would help to kind of rehydrate that skin and give it that glow. So it would be great with cosmetic needling, but not not medical needling. Okay, next one is going to be one that I think lots of people don't actually know what it does. I'm gonna look at my notes because this one is interesting, you guys. This is the modulating glucosides. Now, I wanted to share this one because I think, first of all, that name, nobody's gonna know what the heck that is, but because this one has squalane as its second ingredient, right? Then it's got glycerin, again, a superstar ingredient. But then this one has all kinds of fantastic ingredients in there, you guys. It's got antioxidants, it has amino acids, it has, of course, the glucosides, then it has other hydrating ingredients, what this is going to do or who this is going to be for is going to be if you have sensitive, irritated, or reactive skin. So if you know that you're going to get a series of laser treatments, this might be nice for the days following your laser treatment. If you have just perpetually irritated skin from tretinoin, this could be very, very helpful to calm your skin, help with redness, help with irritation, help with getting your barrier back intact, and also helping with like the flakiness and that kind of thing. So this is for sensitive, irritated, you know, um, inflamed skin, that kind of thing. If you didn't have any of that and you used this, you might just think it was nicely hydrating, but you didn't understand what else it was for. It's got lots and lots of great ingredients, but you may not get the full benefit of it. If on the other hand, 
you use it post treatment or you use it because you are irritated, inflamed or red, you will see the benefits of the modulating glucosides product. So this one to me is just a great rescue product or it's really great for those of you out there who are sensitive, irritated, naturally just have skin that is, you know, reactive. This would be great. That is the modulating glucosides and I'm recommending that one as well. Okay, the, uh, let's see, the last one from Neod that I am testing out now is the fractionated eye concentrate. Now, I am not a huge proponent of eye cream. You guys know I did an eye cream video where we talked about retinaldehyde and retinol in eye cream, and I think that that is a really great thing to have around the eyes in an eye cream form because they make it kind of weak and so it doesn't irritate around the eyes. It shouldn't irritate around the eyes. This one is interesting because it comes in a serum form and the promises are pretty big. I would say, because it promises to help with uh, fine lines and crepiness and dark circles and puffiness, and you can use this on your lid, you can use it all around your eyes, you can use it under your eyes, around your lid. I would say that based on, and I'm gonna pull it up, based on the ingredient deck, which is stellar, Again, you can see next to me this incredible ingredient deck of peptides and humectants, and we've got niacinamide, which is fantastic to see in any kind of an eye product that can help with hyperpigmentation. This has ascorbic acid, so a form of vitamin C, the active form of vitamin C that can help with brightening around your eyes. This also has glycolic and lactic acid way, way, way down the list, which I actually really like in an eye product way, way, way down the list, because a lot of times what we see as dark circles is hyperpigmentation. At least that's probably 80% of my dark circle issue is hyperpigmentation. And glycolic and lactic acid can help to gently exfoliate that area if it is in the right concentration in the formula and help to alleviate some of that darkness due to melanin. And not due to vascularity, that's a different thing, but due to melanin. And then the fact that this one also has the ascorbic acid means that it's gonna help with that as well and help with the brightening. Now, there's lots and lots of other incredible ingredients in there as well that, uh, I mean, honestly, the ingredient deck is just like, wow, right? I just don't think that it's probably gonna do much for puffiness, I just don't. And I don't think it's gonna do anything at all for darkness that is due to vascularity. So if you are seeing your dark circles because you have thinner skin and you can see the blood vessels, you know, like you have bluey or green, I don't think this is gonna do anything for that. This also promises to do a little bit of lid tightening and I'm always very, very skeptical of that as well. I do think that if you improve the skin in general, maybe you'll get a little bit of that, but I never think that any eye cream or eye serum is gonna make an impact that is like crazy, I just don't. But what this can do is help with crepiness, help with hydration, help with the overall look of that orbital area, and it could help with darkness due to hyperpigmentation. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna give a report back. I'm gonna cocktail this and use it underneath my Aven and my La Roche-Posay eye creams, and I will let you know. Let me know if you've tried this. I would love to hear your review in the comment section. Let me know what you've thought of this, but that is the Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate. I do have two other products from Neod that I'm gonna be testing out, but I haven't yet. And that is the voicemail mask and also the Sanskrit saponins. <laughs> saponins, saponins. The Sanskrit saponins. I'm gonna be testing these out. I'll let you know over on Instagram how these do. I have one product from Hylamide and I've recently talked about this in my uh, Celebrity Skincare Affordable Alternatives. If you missed that video, you should watch it. It's a really, really fun video. But this is the Sub-Q Serum. I've talked about this serum for years. It's been one of those serums that is just kind of a go-to for hydration and nourishing the skin. It's a beautiful serum packed with peptides, humectants, all in a relatively affordable hyaluronic acid, non-sticky, relatively thin consistency. So many ingredients in here that are gonna be superstar hydration ingredients. It's just going to help with the refinement of your skin as well as the hydration and nourishment of your skin. Definitely my number one pick from the entire Hylamide part of Desium's website would be this one. This is actually my only Hylamide pick. The mist is nice but this is definitely my pick from that part of the website. 
Okay, let's get on to the ordinary, you guys. I have several picks from the ordinary. The number one, absolutely number one thing, if you're gonna get one thing from the ordinary, it's gonna be the buffet with copper peptides. This is another one I've talked about for a very, very long time. This made my short list for copper peptides. I think it is an affordable option that is incredible. I mean, look at the ingredient deck. Now, this one to me is, it's just, it's, almost hard to beat. It comes in this really beautiful form that is hyaluronic acid packed with a ton of peptides, all kinds of other good ingredients. It leaves you hydrated, gives you some of that peptide benefit. Now, I do not think that the copper peptides in here are as potent as the copper peptides in the Neod. I just don't. I think that they're more pure in the Neod than this. You're getting all kinds of other things. But I do think that if this is more your budget or you know you just are interested in all the other amazing ingredients that are in here, this is a fantastic pick. It, it really is, and I've recommended it for a really long time. This would be for, again, very similar to the copper peptides in the Neod. If you are concerned with aging, this could be a really great serum. This also would be a really great serum for cosmetic needling and cosmetic derma rolling. It just is packed with so many things to feed the skin and no bad ingredients. In fact, none of these have any bad ingredients. None of these have anything in them that I'm like, oh, that's probably not good, none of them. So that's a really huge thing also. But this is my number one pick. If you're gonna get one thing from The Ordinary and you're over 35, the copper peptides with, the buffet with copper peptides is amazing. Next is the salicylic acid 2% mask. I picked this one up because I wanted to share it. I think this would be a great thing if you have blackheads, congestion, or breakouts. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid that is able to disencrust the pore. So it doesn't actually pull blackheads out, but what it does is it dislodges them so that as you do your normal day-to-day -day stuff, they will actually come out. This little mask could be really, really beneficial if you notice more of exacerbated blackheads or if you're prone to breakouts, this mask might be helpful. It's kaolin clay and salicylic acid at 2%, which is the perfect percentage. I just think it's a beautiful product from the ordinary and I think that it could serve a lot of people who are acne prone or prone to blackheads, it would serve them well. So that's the salicylic acid 2% mask. Next one is going to be the AHA 30% BHA 2%. Now, you guys have probably seen this around forever. It's the one that looks like, you know, you did a vampire facial kind of thing. This one is not for the faint of heart. Now, those of you who do regular peels and all that probably just rolled your eyes, but I would say that this is kind of your intro peel. If you are somebody who has normal skin, normal to oily or oily skin, you may love this as an intro peel. Now, that said, it packs enough of a punch that it can disrupt your barrier if you use it too often or you leave it on too long. So definitely follow the directions, and if you are normal to dry or dry, really be careful with this one. You might even want to just try testing it out for a minute or two, but don't leave it on the full amount of time and see how it does, because it definitely can dry out the skin. Now, it also is going to help to greatly exfoliate the skin. That's what AHAs and BHAs are gonna do. They're gonna help to kind of dislodge all the gluey cells that we want to shed off to reveal kind of more of a, you know, exfoliated, nice surface of the skin. Get rid of kind of old stuff that needs to move along to reveal a glow. That's what AHAs and BHA can do for you. Not to mention, of course, the BHA can be helpful with, again, that congestion. So it can help with the pores. So this one can help to give a glow, help to kind of move along debris, and that can help with acne prone skin because you get that stuff moving along and there's less gunk to gunk everything up, to clog things up. And then salicylic acid helps to disencrust those pores, dislodge debris so that we can actually get rid of it out of our pores. So this one is a great, great pick. You just gotta use it the way that it's directed and be careful with it. The last pick that I have is actually the lactic acid HA. This one to me is such an unsung little product. I just think it's great. Now lactic acid is actually also an alpha hydroxy acid. And that means that it is going to help to exfoliate your skin. Lactic acid is a larger molecule, so it kind of sits on the top of the skin. It doesn't get into the skin and it helps to dislodge that surface stuff. Now, the other thing about lactic acid is that it's a humectant. So if you are somebody who has dry skin, or even if you're normal, but maybe you're dehydrated, or 
If you are oily, but you're also dehydrated, you might really like lactic acid as an exfoliant because it helps to hydrate the skin while it exfoliates it. It's a great combination because a lot of times what happens with uh, exfoliation is dryness. Lactic acid kind of combats that a little bit. Now you can still get dried out from a lactic acid peel or from lactic acid products with overuse or barrier impairment, but Typically, lactic acid is going to be the most hydrating of the alpha hydroxy acids. Now, this one combines it with hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant, and it draws water to it. So between the two, you have this hydrating humectant of an exfoliant and this humectant together to really reveal glowy, hydrated skin. It's a really nice product, and I think it's an unsung hero. It reminds me quite a bit of things like Good Jeans or some of these really super expensive things, just in a super simplistic form and a really low price tag. So that is the lactic acid 10% with hyaluronic acid. I do have a couple other products from all of these brands that I don't have anymore. Survival is another product from Neod that I have loved forever. Such a fantastic antioxidant. If you are someone who deals with city pollution and you're concerned about environmental stressors, et cetera, Survival might be something that you want to look into. Really, really great product that also util utilizes the superoxide dismutase. Now, the other ones from The Ordinary that I don't have anymore that I love are the Squalling Cleanser, a beautiful hydrating cleanser. If you are normal, normal to dry, you may love, love that cleanser. And then also the Natural Moisturizing Factors, the NMF moisturizer, is one of the best simple moisturizers I've ever tried at the lowest price tag. If you have normal skin, slightly normal to dry, you may love the NMF moisturizer. It is really great also. So those are my picks for Desium's Slovember. I am going to be sharing, like I said, little mini reviews all month long that will highlight each of these and more on my Instagram to kind of help to educate people. The real thing that needs to get across here is nobody needs all of this at all. Definitely take your time. That is what they are trying to promote in November, is that you take your time and really assess if you need any of it at all. Or if you do think you want to shop the sale, that you shop appropriately and that you make good decisions. I hope that this video can help you with that. I hope it can help you break down and decide on the products that you definitely don't need and the products that you might be interested in. If you found this valuable, share it with a friend. I do hope that you are having a wonderful week so far. I hope you have a wonderful November. I'll talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.